This is my take on the Frenchie. I mean, it's a great fly. It looks like a lot of mayflies, and this one's got a little bit of added color to it. I use a white flashy dubbing and the red thread collar. So here's how you make this fly. I've got a number 18 jig style hook and bronzish colored bead. I'm going to use brown thread to start out with. I'm going to make a good tight thread body all the way to the back. The reason I'm not using red to start with is I don't want to get the red showing through the uh, pheasant tail body. So I'm just going to use brown and then switch over. So we got uh, CDL for the tail. And grab a couple fibers of that. copper wire. Get fine copper wire for the rib. And I'll put that like right up into the bead. And we'll get a few pheasant tail fibers. Get those in. Trim them. And we'll get everything bound up tight to the front. Okay, wind in our pheasant. That. Copper wire, we're going to go counterclockwise, and that makes that pheasant tail fiber a lot more durable. So, you know, mangle the fly on the first fish you catch. So, we're going to go a couple wraps in the front. And a couple good wraps in the back. And we can just twirl that till it snaps. And just tighten everything up. So at this point, I'm going to put in a whip finish. red thread right there get some wax
Got some flashy white dubbing. We don't need a ton of it, but get enough to make a collar. And we got a couple pesky rabbit hair fibers. We'll just trim those. Okay. And we're just going to make a thin but noticeable. Collar out of the red thread, whip finish. And just a little bit of head cement. And we're good. And that's it, basic Frenchie. You can experiment. You can try different colors for the uh, dubbing part, but that's the basic idea. Welcome to all the new subscribers. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and uh, give us a like if you like the content. Also, send us any comments that you have. I get back to everyone. Thanks for watching.